Okay, in this segment, we're going to talk about the full stroke and also the stick movement. Um, again, this is all teaching that I studied with Joe Morello and still study with him and comes from George Lawrence Stone. I like to make sure I mention that because this is I wouldn't know anything about this if I hadn't you know, been studying with Joe for all these years. Basically, he points out that when you ask people to make a stroke just right-left, most people... Uh, either one stick goes down and one stick goes up, or most people start low and go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And Mr. Stone and Joe pointed out or point out that if you go up or just make a motion like this, you're basically wasting the motion. Just doing this up causes tension. The upstroke alone, up, down, first of all, you're making two motions. It takes twice as long to get back to the drum if you're, or the cymbal. If you're going like this, it's two motions. It takes twice as long. You ever notice sometimes just you guys or guys and girls watching this at home, take a look at the way you would just go right and left. And probably most of you will start low and go up, down, up, down. It's two motions. It takes twice as long to go back. Or most people go one goes up, one goes down. And when you look at why you would do that, there's really no explanation other than force of habit or just somebody showed you how to do that. Why make an upstroke? It doesn't really make any sense, and it causes tension. What Mr. Stone and Joe's method is all about is basically making a, a motion and picking a, a distance from the drum and practicing that dynamic and allowing the stick to bounce back freely to the starting point. For example, if I start here from the drum this far away, and throw the stick down, it bounces back faster than I could ever possibly bring it back. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a really loud sound with very little effort. I'm playing from this volume level with very little effort. So I can play really loud on a snare drum, and this is going to be loud, so watch out. Here we go. Now, how can I play that loud with hardly moving? What I'm doing is I'm throwing the stick down and I'm allowing the, uh, Joe calls it accepting the rebound. I'm allowing the stick to come back freely. And what I'm doing is I'm starting in this position, allowing the stick to bounce back. I'm only wake, making one motion. So basically I've doubled my speed from someone who starts low and goes up and down like that. This particular stroke is called a full stroke. And what Joe does in his teaching, and this teaching that I used uh, as well, is, uh, is dividing, playing the drum into wrist, arms, and fingers. And the first thing we're dealing with is wrist strokes, and this full stroke is the number one stroke with the wrist. Basically, you're saying that the dynamic range of using the wrist is from straight up and down to the drum and back. Now, to me, if you go, pa why only start here? If you go past this point, you're going against gravity. Where here, if you're starting at the full stroke position, you're just using gravity to let the stick go down. So our starting point for wrist strokes is called a full stroke, and it's straight up and down. Joe calls this ceiling position, and you can do it with match grip or traditional grip. Uh, sometimes people playing traditional grip, I've had students and I've seen some of Joe Morello's students who don't bring the stick, uh, just their, their wrist won't go back that far. But you, what you'll, you're trying to do is develop a full range of motion and it will happen over time. So just bring your wrist back as far as you can without bending the wrist in too much like this and allowing yourself to make what's called a full stroke. And I'll demonstrate it again and it goes like this. Now that's a loud sound on a drum and what you're doing, Joe mentions that there are three things that this does for you. One is that uh, it loosens up the muscles. Number two, so it's a great warm up. When I'm practicing, you know, when I, when I work on this stuff, I'll do this for about a half an hour starting slowly to fast with a metronome playing the full stroke. Loosens up the muscles. Number two, you're developing the same sound from each hand every time. So I can basically play this consistent loud stroke every time. There's my loud stroke, that's my full range of motion.
There's my full stroke. Now, let's go over to the cymbal for a second. Take a look at how I'm playing the cymbal. You're going to notice that I'm going to be playing different dynamics. Now what I did, you can tell that I, there's no more tension in my body playing a loud sound than a soft sound. What I'm doing is I'm raising the stick higher to create the dynamic as opposed to squeezing it harder. So using this full stroke, here's my full range of dynamic on the cymbal. When I need to play that loud, or on the hi-hat, for example. I can totally control the volume by where I start the stroke. And that's where the full stroke comes in. So again, to review, we're talking about the first wrist stroke, straight up and down, full stroke. And the way you would practice this is you could take any exercises you want, but the best ones through Joe Morello and Mr. Stone's teaching is the stick control book, the first three pages, 72 exercises of right and left combinations. And basically, as Joe points out, there are no accents on those pages. It's just combinations of rights and lefts. So what you do is you work on playing the full stroke, starting slowly with a metronome. And in fact, I have the metronome here, and what I give my students at UNF is basically to start about 50. Here. Or even half of that. And even I can see in myself, sometimes I don't go full all the way back with my left hand. I'm just trying to make a full stroke. This sometimes takes, some people get this in five minutes. Some people, it takes months just to get this. I know it seems like it should be easy, but most people want to go up, down. And just to allow the stick to rebound back can take a while because you're so used to doing it a different way. But this is the place to start with this particular system which is Joe Morello and Mr. Stone, and now hopefully my, the system that I will be showing, uh, or that I am showing, uh, demonstrating this full stroke with the natural body movement. Again, this is a full stroke. And you work it up. I usually suggest working it up to 100, and then go back to 50 again and play eighth notes. And then work that up to 100. Now my warm up, when I do this, I usually start about 120, about here. And I work it up to 200 as my warm-up. So here's 200. Here's 200. One, two. So that's, if you're playing that loud with a full stroke... pretty loud on a drum and that's your that's a warm up that's a way that you can play that loud and develop the three things uh, loosening up the muscles oh and the third thing which I didn't mention is that you're creating a reflex action with the right hand loosening the muscles keeping a consistent sound and the third thing is that you're getting the wrist to move I mean check this out I can do with no stick how can I do that I've developed the wrists to move. And what happens by doing this full stroke at a faster tempo is you end up developing the wrists so the wrists will accept the rebound and move quickly. So that's the full stroke.